I'm with Advocate Mathlati, Chief Executive Officer of the Kaoteng Tourism Authority, who's with me here to talk both about Kaoteng Province and the city of Shuani. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Uh, first question I'd like to uh, address to you is Kaoteng and Shuani are known really as the economic powerhouse of South Africa. But of course, there's a huge amount of uh, touristic appeal. Would you just like to elaborate on that a little bit? Please? What a lot of people don't know about the city of Tswane is that it is called the Jacaranda City because during springtime the whole city is draped in purple jacarandas. It is also the administrative capital of South Africa. It houses the un Union Building. It also houses the Fort Trekker Monument. And next year what will be coming on stream in Tswane is the Peace Park. And Gauteng is an urban metropole and therefore it really appeals to a certain segment of uh, people that go to urban cities. It's got a backdrop to wonderful safaris less than 45 minutes away and definitely for the UK trade what we would like uh, them to do with us is to brochure Gauteng quite a lot and also to make sure that uh, the younger generation uh, in the UK can come and travel to South Africa. You know that we don't believe that uh, Gauteng is a, a long-haul destination and we think that it ought to be sold as a, as a, as a short stop because we are on the same time zone and uh, most flights travel at night so you can sleep in the UK, wake up in Gauteng and spend a weekend in Gauteng and be back in, in London for the week. That's certainly an exotic long weekend. Indeed it is. <laughs> uh, and of course the huge advantage Hateng has over every other province is that virtually every international arrival into South Africa is coming into Joburg and I guess the, the trick for Hateng is to keep them in your province rather than to get yeah. them to go off into, into other uh, provinces. Yes indeed, but also unlike other provinces in South Africa we are truly an urban destination. Um, the whole of uh, Pretoria, Tswane, Johannesburg and the Kurilene has now become a total urban sprawl, which means that you can no longer really tell what part of one city you go to, which is why we are appealing to the young and hip and urban uh, travelers to come to Gauteng to enjoy the entertainment. We've got unbelievable shopping, dining, and a particularly specifically South African and the Gauteng uh, wow experience. Not forgetting, of course, the township experience in Soweto and also the lovely warmth of the people in South Africa. And Gauteng really typifies uh, this spirit that we talk of. Fantastic. Well, just one last question for you. What new developments have you got taking place over the next 18 months that international visitors will benefit from? You know where Heritage uh, Province in Gauteng this is uh, our only world uh, heritage site, is the cradle of humankind. But we are glad to say that Gauteng now is also going to have a big game five reserve. That is in Dinokeng, just north of Tswane. It's exactly in and around the area where the largest Kalinan diamond was found. And this is the diamond I believe that in Britain is the most famous one because it sits on the royal crown. And we've got a replica of it in Kalinan and it is around in that area where uh, you know where the big five once roamed but it, uh, we are going to be uh, um, making sure that uh, the big five that you can see in sand parks can roam all the way to Gauteng and this is going to be especially beneficial for those uh, business people that come and do not have the time to actually go up to Limpopo. So we've got a big game five, a game reserve that is coming on stream. We've got, of course, the Peace Park that is being built in and around um, uh, Pretoria. And we've got yet another visitor site in the Stegfontein Caves. Well, I'm good, Mathati. Thank you very much. You're certainly a great ambassador for your province. And thanks for the time you've given us. Thank you very, very okay. much.